It's been a long time since I simply uploaded one Splatoon match with commentary, but re just recently while I was recording uh, matches for the Splat Charger tip video, I got this 3 vs 4 match that I thought was pretty entertaining, better than the one I did uh, last time that uh, wasn't re really talented players. Anyway, if any of you noticed at the beginning right there, one of the players was uh, probably trying to start a squid party, and that made our Japanese player quit right at the beginning, hence why this is a 3 versus 4. I get quite unlucky at the beginning right there, getting caught by that dual squelcher, which I believe counters the splat charger really, really well, unless you manage to splat them before they splat you. Um, although I don't see the most action in this match, I do do a great job keeping the opponents from our side because if the opponents manage to breach our side it's all over my allies uh, they get splatted very often but they get the most splats for it anyway the killer whale on port mackerel is at its most useful when you use it in the rows like i just did right there there are also other ways you could potentially use it but it's not exactly in a street i'm not exactly in a situation where i can just use it any way i want i got pretty lucky splatting alexander right there because uh yeah, she had, he or she had the Inkzuka, which should have really, really splatted me as soon as uh, he or she saw me. Anyway, I spent the vast majority of the match just staying over here, because that's what the Charger is for, guarding locations. Since I'm using the Kelp Splatter Scope, though, I make sure to throw my sprinkler in uh, locations just a bit forward, so I can at least keep my opponents either distracted or ink over some places. I occasionally uh, get off the moving uh, truck because I don't want to be too predictable for my opponents. They weren't that smart, but I knew that if I wasn't careful, I would uh, get reached through. Here, I aim to kill a whale right there because I want to help my ally, but it uh, turns out my ally didn't need my help at all. Even so, I had to make sure that foe was going to get defeated. Since there's only three of us, it's all the more reason why I have to stick around uh, in the back right here. Because if it, if a single opponent managed to breach, breach through, it'd be all over. And right here, I'm the only one uh, player on my team alive, so that's all, it makes it all the more important for me to guard my location. Unfortunately, I can't look at three places at once, so one of the rollers managed to breach through. I make sure to keep that player over there back, though, to ensure that I don't have to deal with opponents from all of my sides. Unfortunately, at this point, I can no longer ignore the opponents that breach through, and I have to I have to give all my attention to them. Of course, my allies also have to help me because I cannot take care of them from where I'm standing. Unfortunately, my allies have to sacrifice themselves to finally get rid of them completely. It could have been worse, though. And just just now, the match is already over. I'm kind of surprised how quick, quickly it went. Um, every shot counted in the end, and one of my allies managed to reach through to the enemy base, which probably helped a lot. But yeah, it was a 0.3% difference that decided the winner. And uh, in case some of you haven't noticed, uh, right at the end, it showed that uh, uh, one of our, my allies, it showed specifically, he scored the least out of any player. And it's no surprise too, because he was the one who wanted to start a squid party. Tanks a lot. But props to last hour 91 for really, really inking over as much as he or she could because that helped a lot at the end. I still think I could get a better 3 versus 4 in the future because anytime I did a 3 versus 4, I never really carried the game because I'm usually a charger and I have to stay back and play defensively. I'm really hoping one of these days though that I'll get a 3 versus 4 or even 2 versus 4 or something like that where I'll be in the main, I'll be constantly in the action and uh, splatting every foe, perhaps getting splatted very often myself, essentially playing with perfect aim while avoiding all of my opponent's shots. Yep, but until then, I hope you've all enjoyed this video and I'll have a very nice day. More Splatoon stuff in the playlists below. Bye bye!